So in last week's video, you will remember that I set up a tropical vivarium for a species that I'm hopefully going to be getting my hands on quite soon. But um, that vivarium was from DMS Vivaria and I'm going to be reviewing it in a short amount of time. But as well as that, I also did get some culturing pots and media from DMS Vivaria for um, isopods, springtails and other members of cleanup crews for bioactive tanks. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the cultures that I've set up and also how I did this. So let's crack on with the video. So first off, let, let's take a look at how to set up the cultures. I got 10 of these pots, they're sort of like chippy pots, not too exciting. Um, and these are what I'm going to be keeping the cultures in. They don't have any ventilation, so I will have to open them about twice a week to let air in. But apart from that, they should do the job quite well. So now that we've got our containers, the first step is to add a sort of base substrate to them. I'm just going to be using coconut fibre and um, breaking up a bit of a brick I got a couple of weeks ago um, and then I'll spray it with water so that it'll expand. Um, you do want to make sure that the substrate is reasonably moist because wood lice and things do need moisture to survive but you definitely don't want it sopping wet either because then it can go stagnant. Once we've got this in now um, we can start doing some more of the exciting stuff. With the box pretty much set up, I added the cultures. Now to this box, I'm adding um, part of a culture of dwarf white isopods or wood lice. Now I did actually buy um, five different cultures and I did have 10 of the sort of chippy bots to put them in. So I split each um, in half, each bought culture in half and put half into each um, um, pot that I had assigned to them so that I could sort of double the amounts that I was going to get out of them. You want to do this so that you can um, spread them between several vivaria and in the future if you need to top up the cleanup crew in a bioactive enclosure then you won't have to go out and buy more pots. One of the keys to success with culturing any member of a cleanup crew is leaf litter. Leaf litter doesn't really go very well in all of the um, vivaria that you're going to set up, but at least for cultures it's definitely worth having. Now th this leaf litter I did collect myself the other week, um, and you want to use it so that um, the um, things in the culture have a place to hide and also have something to eat continually, because worms, isopods and springtails are all going to eventually break down this leaf litter, so you will have to replace it. In time, if my cultures get big enough, I will have to feed them supplementarily with um, a different type of food. I got some of this from DMS Vivaria and I'll be trying that out too. But for now, um, the colonies aren't big enough, so leaf litter will just tie them over. And with that, you should know how to set up a cleanup crew culture. I'm going to show you my cultures now. So this first one includes some small dendrobina worms. This next culture you'll notice does look significantly different to the rest. Um, this one's actually for springtails and instead of having any um, coconut fibre substrate or leaves, it's got clay balls with a layer of activated carbon pellets on top to provide maximum surface area for the springtails. Obviously lacking leaf litter, um, they are going to need some of that supplementary food I talked about and I'll show you that now. So here it is, again like all of this stuff from DMS Vivaria, it's just a big part of this white powdery stuff, I'm not too sure what's in it, but so far the springtails seem to like it, so in a couple of months time once I've used it I'll probably do a review on it. Now getting back to the cultures, when I lift up these leaves you might be able to see some of the giant orange isopods running about. Um, out of all the cultures I've done, these have actually been doing the best so far, and I have seen some babies already, so I've got high hopes of this being a um, really rewarding culture in the near future. Now if you can manage to peer past the glare in this lid that I forgot to take off while I was filming, um, you will see that I have got some tropical grey wood lice in here. 
These are not breeding yet, but they do seem to be doing really well, and they seem to have an absolutely insatiable appetite for the leaves. They're really chewing them up fast. So again, I've got high hopes for these. And with that, we reach the end of this video. I know it was sort of a quickie, but I did a really long one last week, and next week's video will probably be quite long too, so I just fancied putting a shorter one out for now. Um, if you're looking out for updates on these cultures, then I'll probably do the next update alongside an update on my insect breeding colonies, so we'll see how that goes. But for the near future, next week I'm going to be doing a reptile room tour, which has got plenty of changes in it, so stick around for that. And then after that, I do have lots of more, even more exciting updates to come. So I will see you in the next video, and for now, that is me out. So bye guys.